Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can use an animator override controller to extend an existing animator controller. This allows us to keep the original animation states and transitions, but replace the animation clips, as you can see here with these two characters that both dance and walk, but in different ways. A good example of when you might use this is if you had several different types of NPC in your game. They could all use the same animator controller, but be made to act differently by simply overriding the animation clips. Ok, we're going to start with this scene that we created in our root motion video. It has a character with two animation states, dancing and walking. We then have a script that switches between the two states when the spacebar is pressed and released. The first thing we're going to do is add another character to the scene. To do this, we'll head over to Mixamo.com. We'll select this character called Abe. Then we'll click Download. We'll select FBX for Unity in the Format drop-down and download the character to the Assets folder of the project. Back in Unity, we'll select the new character in the Assets panel. Then we'll select the Rig tab in the Inspector and change the animation type to Humanoid. We'll click the Apply button to save the changes. This will create an avatar that maps the bones of the character to the generic bones of Unity's humanoid animation system. If you want more detail on this, then take a look at our video on animation retargeting. Next, we'll drag the character into the hierarchy. We'll set the position of this character to 2 on the x-axis to position it next to the original character. You'll notice that the textures are missing from the character at the moment. This is because they're embedded in the FBX file. We can extract them by clicking on the Asset, then on the Materials tab, and then on Extract Textures. We'll then extract to the Textures folder. We're now going to set up this new character to behave in exactly the same way as the first. We'll drag the existing animator onto the character in the hierarchy. Then we'll do the same with the movement script. Let's press play to try this out. Both characters are doing the same dance and when we hold down the spacebar they both walk in the same direction. Now we've got both characters set up we can look at how to override the animation clips. Let's stop the game and head back over to Mixamo. We'll select the Animations tab. Then we'll search for Hip Hop Dancing. We'll select this one. Then we'll click Download and select Without Skin to just download the animation without the character. We'll click Download and save it to the Assets folder of our project. Next we'll search for Drunk Walk. We'll select this one and download it to the project. Back in Unity, we'll select the new dance animation. In the Inspector, we'll select the Rig tab and change the animation type to Humanoid. We then need to assign the correct character avatar. To do this, we'll change the avatar definition to Copy from Other Avatar. We'll select the new character's avatar as the source. We'll click Apply to save this. Next, we'll select the Animation tab and tick Loop Time and Loop Pose to have the animation loop continuously. We'll also tick Bake into Pose for the Root Transform Y position, so that the animation doesn't affect the Y position of the character. We'll click Apply to save these changes. Then we'll do the same for the Drunk Walk animation. We'll set the animation type to Humanoid and select the correct avatar. Then we'll set the animation to Loop and we'll bake the root transform Y position. Next, we need to set up an override to use these clips. To do this, we'll click the plus button in the Assets panel and select Animator Override Controller. We'll call this Drunk Override. We'll then drag the original animator into the controller slot in the Inspector. This allows us to override the animation clip for each state in the animator. 
we'll set the dance animation to hip hop dancing. And we'll set the walk animation to drunk walk. Now we just need to assign the animator override controller. We'll select the Abe character in the hierarchy. Then we'll change the animator controller to use the override. Let's press play to try this out. Now both characters are dancing, but they're using different animations. Then when we hold the spacebar, both characters walk, but again the animations are different. Because we're using root motion, the characters walk at different speeds as the movement is driven by the animation. This shows how easy it is to create varied characters in our game just by overriding the animations, especially when combined with root motion. OK, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. If you find our channel useful and would like to help support our work, you can find us on Patreon and Coffee.com. Thanks guys!